Wanted to talk some basketball with you. Mr. Irreplaceable for this Alabama men's basketball team, as it sits right now, in your opinion, Brent. And the options are really two guys, right? It's Dante yeah, Hall. Yeah. Or Colin Sexton. Who is your Mr. Irreplaceable between those two guys? I think it's Hall. I, I think wow. Hall's been more consistent. He gives them such force in the middle. Surprisingly athletic and, and has improved a, a great deal. And, and, and I think the other thing he's done as of late, he's given them some leadership uh, and, and frankly, Travis, some, some real motivation and energy at times. And that's not taken away from Sexton. He, he does his thing, obviously, and he has his big role. But uh, Travis, I'm not sure we've seen a big man. Uh, to perform this well. And I listen, I would argue right now, he's one of the better big men in the nation. Yeah, and just extremely efficient right now. On the mm-hmm. offensive end, and you're right, he is a guy that can protect the rim defensively. Uh, and at a minimum, as I said earlier in the program, heart and soul of this Alabama basketball team right now is Dante Hall. I, I don't know yes. if a yes. team and or a fan base feeds off an individual player as much as Alabama's does mm-hmm. Dante Hall. Um, when we look at this Alabama resume to date, uh, is it, are, are we at a spot eight and five in the league, 17 and nine overall five and one, uh, versus top 25 teams this year where y- y- if you're an Alabama fan, you, you can sort of feel very, very comfortable about your NCAA tournament chances, or is this stretch run of the regular season schedule, still daunting enough that you know, it's not not necessarily a given. Do you trust this team, I guess I'm I'm asking at this point, after what we've seen the last two games? Is there a, a level of trust maybe there that wasn't uh, before the Tennessee and LSU wins? But much higher after the LSU game. I thought that was a maturity game for them. Uh, and it would certainly help if they could split this Kentucky-Auburn road series that's coming up. Uh, but, but but they're beginning to show. And look, when you go twenty four and three, uh, as far as in the score, when Sexton's on the bench against LSU, I, I, Trev, I'm not sure they win that LSU game in September in uh, January, but they were able to do it in February. That made a difference. So I well, I think the trust level for them right now is is pretty high. I mean, they're a they're a seven seed with a Lenardi. So at, at this point. That's pretty good assurance. Uh, I mean, they can still do a lot to help themselves, but uh, that's that's good assurance being in the in the tournament right now. Yeah, Joe Lenardi, the ESPN bracketologist of note, in his most recent uh, edition of his his field for the NCAA tournament, Alabama, I believe, is a seven seed in Nashville. I think that's a mm-hmm. a trip Alabama fans could uh, get Absolutely. on board with there uh, in the Music City. Uh, conversely, Alabama goes to Lexington on Saturday. What are we to make of this Kentucky team right now? You talk about a team that has oh, yeah. no trust from its fan base. It doesn't sound like John Calipari trusts his own team right no, now. No, no. Four, four straight losses. Um, they, they were, they could not handle Auburn. Of course, no one else is handling Auburn either. Um, they, this is one of those years, Travis, that the, Kentucky just does They really don't have any leadership. I thought their length would give Auburn more problems, but that just didn't happen either last night. And I think that's—I think you said it well. I—I I, I think at this point, uh, uh, Cal, I, uh, Trav, I, I think Cal is struggling with what to do with the combinations and so forth. And listen, this might be just one of those years where they're around 500 until they grow up. 